When people have an insane amount of cash due to their careers, they will do ridiculous things and spend them on even more crazy and bizarre kinds of stuff. Some will buy luxury cars, huge mansions, limited edition watches, and maybe even a non-public jet, or millions on some freaking thing. Who knows? The same goes for athletes after they get their hands on a great amount of money to play their sport. In this video, you'll see athletes who spend insane money on crazy shark tanks for risky animals to some on their crazy bathtub, or even crazier, a pet white tiger. Can you guess which one is the wildest? While you work on that, let's get started with the first of the big spenders. Conor McGregor. Come one, come all. When it comes to spending millions, how can we forget Conor? McGregor's definitely a top spender with his Lamborghini Technomar 63. If it's not luxury cars, watches, and suits that McGregor collects, he's even bought a luxury yacht. The Lamborghini Technomar 63 is the latest luxury yacht that the UFC star added to his impressive collection. His vehicle fleet now includes both road and water vehicles from Lamborghini. A source from TMZ Sports estimated the yacht's cost at about $4 million. It is called the Supercar of the Sea. It is 63 feet in length and is mostly made of carbon fiber. The Technomar 63 also weighs 24 tons with two 2,000 horsepower engines and reaches a top speed of 69 miles per hour. The notorious version of the yacht is also custom made for him and includes a lounge, private restroom, and master suite. The yacht is outstanding, and the detailing replicates Lamborghini's electric sports models. Danny Granger's Batcave Danny Granger, a former professional basketball player, and his underground Batcaves cost a bomb. Hence, a man like him, strange and wonderful, ends up portraying himself as a young man with money to burn and an obsessive mind. But of course, he's got so much in return for his Batcave. Like the real Batman movie, it had driveways and tunnels that glowed as cars drive through. It had it all. Pretty cool when you think about it. Michael Vick's Dog Slaughterhouse Michael Vick, the famous American quarterback, became infamous for a very good reason. At the peak of his career, Michael Vick's financial establishment rolled out a dog-fighting empire. It quickly exposed the flaws in pit bull killing as a business model. After that, the legal expenses and two-year jail sentence crippled Vick financially, forcing the former Falcons quarterback into Chapter 11. During his financial disaster hearing, it is mentioned that Vic's terrible spending is not restricted to his canine slaughterhouse. He allegedly spends $8 million every 23 months, blowing a whopping $25,000 every day for two straight years. Kobe Bryant Kobe Bryant is one of the best basketball players of all time. He has made millions in his career. In 2007, he spent $21,000 on champagne at the Boutique nightclub in Las Vegas. It was the grand opening, and Bryant and his wife wanted to make the best of it. So on that day, inside the club, a poker player named Antonio purchased two bottles for $1,400. However, Kobe wasn't about to be crushed by a few no-call poker players and preferred to out-purchase him. First, Kobe would purchase five bottles of crystal champagne. Then Antonio would buy 10 bottles to outbeat Kobe. However, Kobe would then buy up to 15 bottles of crystal champagne. Seems reasonable for Kobe, right? Next, Joe Johnson, sneakers collection. Joe Johnson is one of those athletes that loves shoes. He has a complete collection of shoes in his home. Johnson told ESPN Magazine about his collection in 2012, saying, I wanted to display all my shoes, so I had this 500-square-foot closet made. I just thought this would be a cool idea, and it almost looks like a museum. So here are 436 pairs of sneakers, most of which have never been worn. I'll wear them all someday. Shaquille O'Neal Customized Superman Luxury Items Legendary big man Shaquille O'Neal has a net worth upwards of a quarter of a billion dollars so it's not insane to throw down some layperson to customize luxury items. 
Moreover, Shock is a famous Superman enthusiast whose enthusiasm edges on obsession, which is strange for a 40-year-old man. The bed alone is rumored to have cost as much as $15,000. Cristiano Ronaldo Car Collection Football star Cristiano Ronaldo has a lot more money than he knows what to do with. He is one of the highest paid athletes in the world and a billionaire. Ronaldo has been collecting cars since 2006. He owns more than 20 robust and expensive cars, including the Lamborghini Aventador LP 700-4, 318,000, Phantom Rolls-Royce, 400,000, Ferrari 599 GTO, Batmobile, 385,000, and Bucati Veyron, $1,700,000. Ronaldo has spent millions of dollars on his precious fleet, which is worth it. Latrell Sprewell, Luxury Yacht. Unlike tricked-out sports activities motors and SUVs, boats are a good investment. But only if you are responsible gainfully employed, and understand what you are doing. Unfortunately for former NBA player Latrell Sprewell, he had none of these qualities. Sprewell was forced into early retirement in 2005 after turning down a $21 million contract extension because it wasn't enough money to feed his family. Well, his family must eat an awful lot. The Timberwolves countered their first offer with $0 and sent him on his way which gave him more time to party in his $1.5 million Italian yacht, hilariously named Milwaukee's Best. Novak Djokovic, World Supply of Donkey Cheese Novak Djokovic is one of the greatest and incidentally wealthiest tennis players of all time. And do you know where he spends some insane amount of money you can only dream of? On a world supply of donkey cheese. Yes, you heard that right, donkey cheese stash. Novak became famous for his health trends, known for manipulating his body through diet to lose weight and improve his tennis game. However, this is a health trend that no one expected. Puel, the world's most expensive donkey milk cheese, and Novak has purchased all of its annual cheese production for its restaurant chain. How is that even possible? Puel is made in the Serbian homeland, the only place it is made, which made it genuinely decadent and luxurious. It became Novak's when he acquired the only business where cheese is made, a donkey farm in Serbia. Gilbert Arenas, Shark Tanks Since the 2009 incident in which he brandished a gun at one of his Wizards teammates over a poker debt, Gilbert Arenas has struggled with gainful employment. He managed to dodge jail time in the felony gun case. In happier times, at the heels of a $111 million payment in 2008, Arena spent a small fortune on developing the giant aquarium. He stocked the tank with ridiculously high-priced sharks, which got here with a month-to-month -month preservation cost of $6,500 to feed and care for. Arenas put the house on the market in July of 2012 for $3.5 million, but it was vague if the sharks were still alive. Deshaun Stevenson Home ATM Don't have cash on hand? Are you tired of running to the bank before a lavish night out? Well, for only $3,500 a month, you can put an ATM in your kitchen like Brooklyn Nets forward Deshaun Stevenson. Stevenson had an automatic teller carted into his Dallas, Texas home so his guests could make a withdrawal when they were playing cards and low on scratch. Guess he's at the top of the list. Mike Tyson made it to the top of the list with his White Tigers and Million Dollar Bathtub. Mike Tyson, White Tigers. It's no secret that retired boxer Mike Tyson didn't pay much attention to his finances at the height of his career and eventually went bankrupt. If you are not fully aware of his bankruptcy situation, let us explain. His half-hearted decision to purchase his three genetically deficient Bengal Tigers and keep them as pets may prove to be a better investment for him. Let's say that there is one. At least the tiger has some resale value. The bankruptcy report in 2003 revealed that Tyson bought the big three cats for $140,000. It also shows the monthly cost of caring for tigers was $4,444 per tiger. On his ex-wife Robin Givens' birthday, Mike gifts her with a bathtub. A bathtub? 
Well, here's the twist. It was made of pure gold and cost $2 million. Then he threw her a $410,000 party on the same birthday. But Mike could have thought of something better to do with his whopping $2 million. What do you think? Let us know where you would have spent your millions in the comments section below.